Willkommen zu Teil 3 And for all you people out there who have no clue what I just said, that was German for Welcome to Part 13. And it's the Hamburg save with me, the Gobby Gaffer, over in Germany. We're doing very nicely in the league, thank you. We've started our Europa League campaign. Giving me horrendous problems, however, because squad registration, yeah, it's not my strong suit. But more about that later. Let's have a look what's been going on. Okay, I'm not sure what this uh, horrible little amber circle is doing here, because he makes a mess of my run of shiny green dots. Okay, uh, after the Leipzig game then, we played uh, Hertha Berlin at home, 2-1 winning that one. Little friendly in there, it was an international break. And then uh, we played Hoffenheim, a 2-2 draw away from home. That's horrible. Like I say, it messes up my run of shiny green dots. We have started our Europa League campaign and uh, Quarabag were the first team. We played them away and a 1-0 win. A very tight game, but we did get the three points and that's the most important thing. Uh, back to Germany and a home game against a Heidenheim. 2-1 winning that one. And then we just played Augsburg away from home. And a really tidy 3-0 winning that one. And as you can see there, the young kid, uh, Milosevic, is banging the goals in. And Fry uh, came on as a sub and uh, nicked two goals uh, for himself. And uh, today, two very contrasting games. We've got uh, Besiktas in the Europa League again. We are at home. Would expect to get another three points out of that one. Uh, but who knows? And uh, then we're back into the league. And it's, well, Bayern Munich. And uh, we are at home in that one. So maybe we have the advantage. Let's have a look at how the league's looking. And it's looking very nice at the moment. Top of the shot, six games played, 16 points. How long will the AI let us get away with that? Who knows what football manager has in store? And I did mention squad registration for Europe. <laughs> we have four, well at least four, grumpy players. Uh, Cordoba, uh, Schmitz, the uh, right fullback, uh, Jekyll and uh, Guindo, the uh, left fullback. All had to be left out of the Europa League squad because, well, I just couldn't fit them in in the registration rules. Yep, probably my mistake, that one. And, uh, well, I've told them I'll include them next time. Um, yeah, it's all on my head, I'm afraid. Anyway, talking of the Europa League, we have another important game to play. It's the second game of the eight games that we have to play to see if we can get some kind of a qualification into the knockout rounds. Let's get stuck in. It's Besiktas. And the team for today. And we've gone for two up top. So the two young kids start today. They did start the last game. And Morstead didn't have the best of games. Uh, brought uh, Aldrikis on. He's still coming back from that nasty injury. So we're just trying to give him a little bit of a game time. But M Milosevic did get a nice header in and scored one of the goals. So we've got Castiles in goal. Back for Mahaim, Jens Ramos and Alviera. Two in midfield of Benz and Azuzi. The two wingers today. Yeah, we're going to try some wingers on. So we've got the wing back on support. Just holding them back a little bit. So Akita and Tella are going to play as wingers today. Obviously we've got the target forward on. So it makes quite a lot of sense. And Milosevic is the target forward with Morstadt next to him as an advance forward. And we do have Aldrikis and I think Hollerbach on the bench as well. Eight minutes on the clock before we get the first highlight. And it, uh, it is uh, Besiktas who are coming forward now. Well, when I say coming forward, they're playing it there between the, the two centre-backs, just trying to build from the back. Uh, we do need to try and avoid. And now Azuzi there uh, makes a lovely little tackle, picks the ball up. And Akita down that left-hand side gives the ball away. Benz, I'm not quite sure what Benz was doing there. The Besiktas player there in that tackle got himself injured. Morstedt, balls! Oh, I was just about to say. The ball's in the back of the net. And that one whistled by the post. It looked like it had gone in. Okay, Besiktas with a corner now. That one comes in. We do get a header on that. Teller with a big hoof outfield. And uh, is Akita going to pick that up? 
you know that's no support and sensibly instead of running into a, a blind alley he pulls it back and uh, just wait for us to get into position very sensible play there from Akita. building now through the middle El Azuzi. looks like he's up for this game to today Milosevic now coming forward he's going to have a strike and that has that gone in that looked to me like it hit the post and rolled along the line and hit the other post but it has been given by the looks of it I mean we need to probably have a look at that one again this looked to me as though it hadn't, hadn't actually gone in okay yeah I think it did cross the line it, hatch, it actually hit the side netting on the other side um, so rather than the post so it is 1-0 to Hamburg and we've got off to a nice start there after 14 minutes Ball played to Benz now, into the box. He's going to swing round, hit that with his right foot. And Morstead didn't have the greatest of games last time out. Well, this time, he puts the ball in the back of the net. And it's 2-0. And this is very, very nice. If we can keep this up for the rest of the game, remember, there's a lot of the game to go yet. But it would be six points on the board and two wins out of two games. But a nice finish from the young kid. And I do think that these two young kids up front, maybe not now, but certainly in the near future, have got a great, a great uh, a future with Hamburg. So just coming up to half time and I've just given the lads, uh, I've dropped them a little bit of praise and they were all happy and smiley. So uh, that's very, very nice to see. But uh, we don't want to concede a goal just before half time. Because that could be, well, it could be the kiss of death, couldn't it? We are pushing them out, however, which is very nice to see. We just have to make sure that that back line is nice and tight. And this ball has got play back to the goalkeeper. And, uh, well, actually, this time for once, this is very, very nice. That was a stray ball from the goalkeeper. And we, oh, given the ball away on that side, that's very unfortunate. No, Akita has picked the ball up again. Some scrappy play from both teams there. Teller slides the ball in the back of the net. And, uh, well, I did think that we were going to go... Uh, well, it was, was going to go 2-1. But actually, we've gone up the other end. A little bit of buffoonery from both sides. We have ended up scoring the third goal, I think. It's gone to review. It is awarded. And it's 3-0 going into the half-time break to Hamburg. And this is very, very pleasing. And as I always say, momentum is a great thing in football. Remember, we've got Bayern Munich next. And that will be a very, very tough test for us. So I think we are going to say, what a 45 minutes that was. You've blown them away. Let's just have a look for tiredness. We are suffering a little bit with tiredness. I think first season back in Europe, uh, there's a lot of games to play. And um, it's been... Quite, I mean, the last game by the 70th minute, most of my team was dead on its feet. So, but after the Bayern Munich game, which by the way is in two days' time, I think we do have a week off, it's an international break. I may well not put a friendly in there just so we can get our players uh, fit. Um, but we all look okay at the moment, I think. Keita has got the yellow card, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, plow on into the second half. So we're still on that positive mentality. I haven't had to, I haven't had to up it this uh, in this game. Teller there, can he pick that ball up? There's still a little bit of buffoonery going on. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. What's the referee? Is the referee looking at a penalty? Really? I didn't even... Penalty review? I didn't even see... It's been awarded. My word. I mean, if anything, it looked like it was outside the penalty area, but it looked a nothing penalty to me. But anyway, Ben steps up and fires the ball at the back of the net. And this is a very, very nice win. Second game in the Europa League. A 4-0 win. Well, at this stage, it's a 4-0 win against Besiktas. And uh, <laughs> it's the best start that we could possibly have hoped for.
Okay, with that fourth goal going in, I think we can safely make some substitutions now. So four substitutions. Uh, Rice and Mefa have come on in midfield. The young kid, Cooley Bali, who looks a great prospect, by the way. He's come on in the centre of defence. And uh, our wonder kid, Dada, has come on on the, the left wing. We're not actually playing as an, uh, an attacking midfielder today, which is his favoured position. But uh, surely, wonder kids can play anywhere on the pitch and be... Well, a wonder kid. Let's crack on. Well, Besiktas have been very, very poor in this game and uh, they've had very, very little of the ball. We do come back to a Besiktas highlight, but their keeper is well known for giving the ball away. And uh, we do pick the ball up and Rice picks the ball up in midfield. Fresh legs in there, remember. Rice and Mefa on and uh, the young kid up front. He's already scored a goal in this game. Nice ball there. We're running the midfield now. Like I say, the fresh legs in there. We were running the midfield anyway, but uh, ball's in the back of the net. And Dardai, I've just been talking about him. What did I say? Wonder kids. They can play anywhere on the pitch, surely. Surely we could put Dardai in goal and he'd be man of the match. He's a wonder kid. And he's just scored our fifth goal. And a very nice finish it was too. Rice there, plays the ball out to Maheim. Maheim slides it into Dardai. He takes a couple of touches, right-footed, and beats the keeper at his near post. Very, very nice. Uh, 73 minutes on the clock, making my last change. Uh, Mikkel Brentis has come on. He's another one of the young kids I'm trying to, you know, bring into the first team squad. And he's replaced, uh, was it Mefer? Uh, Maheim, sorry. He's replaced uh, Maheim at uh, left wing back. And this result, going into the Bayern Munich game, I mean, you know, if we don't go into that game with our tails up, well, it's never going to happen, is it really? But Dardai there now with the ball on the left-hand side and plays it back to, uh, well, one of his, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're ex-youth team players, aren't they? So, uh, you know, one of his kind of former youth team players, if you will. And I thought he was going to play a little ball inside the fullback then. Uh, eventually, that ball does get played. And um, are we going to make the most of that? Dad, I slice the ball in the back of the net. And our super duper wonder kid gets his second goal of the game. And it's 6-0. And what a trouncing this has been. And a very, very nice morale boosting win. If we can carry this on in the Europa League, then, uh, well, we could be getting somewhere in and near the final stages. Um, let's not tempt fate, shall we? Because as we know, Football manager always has other ideas. Two minutes of time added on and with 24 shots, 13 on target and XG of nearly four, we absolutely batter Besiktas. And of course, that was very comprehensive. We give the lads a massive pat on the back and uh, well, there's only two games played but everybody has played those two games and there's that six teams on six points there. Os Lazio, Brighton, Benfica, Fiorentina and uh, Wren. And uh, if, you, if you watch my uh, other save um, with uh, Grassroots to Gold Boots, it's called. Another a different YouTube channel. And I'm playing uh, as managing Marseille. And Wren are a real thorn in my side in that one. But anyway, that's another story. OK, that's another game out of the way, but we have to put that to the back of our minds now because we have got a big game against Bayern Munich. If we can win this one, then that will really cement our place at the top of the league. However, the AI and football manager generally have other ideas. Let's see how we get on. Slight change of formation today. After all, it is Bayern Munich that we're playing. So we're going to play a little bit more conservative. And Mefa has come on as the ball-winning midfield player. We're just playing with the one striker today. Um, Morstedt was uh, was very tired anyway. Um, as was Oliveira, the right wing back. So we have, uh, well, I brought Schmitz in. Who is actually complaining that he's not getting enough game time. So we do need to give him some game time anyway. So the team is Castiles in goal. Back for of Maheim. Jens, Ramos and Schmitz. Three in midfield. Benz, Azuzi and Meffert. The two wingers, Akita and Teller. And uh, we've got the target forward up front, Milosevic. And I would love to see him get header against Bayern Munich to put us 1-0 up within, what, five, six minutes. That would be amazing. Do we think it's going to happen? 
Probably not, but uh, let's get stuck in. And we're underway, and I've given the lads a really good talking to. I've given them all a pat on the back. I've told them all that, that, that they're amazing, and uh, just go out there, play your normal game. Let's see what happens. I am expecting a lot of Bayern Munich highlights, though, in this game. So, uh, But we do have the ball at the moment. We're not doing an awful lot with it. Just getting a nice feel for it. Oh, my word. And Harry Kane is injured. And we all know what happens, don't we, when uh, the opposition have got an injured player on the pitch. And Teller there is doing some amazing work. <laughs> and actually fires the ball against the post from about a foot out. I mean, bonkers. But anyway, Ben's now with the corner. It's going to float this in. We don't want to see any highlights with Harry Kane with the ball because invariably he'll either create or score. We know what happens, don't we? Meffert, back to Schmitz. Schmitz needs to have a good game today. He's moaning and groaning. He wants the game time. He needs to have a very, very good game today because Oliveira is my number one. Full back and we just pull that one past the post and unfortunately we don't go 1-0 ahead. But we are well on top in this game. Header now. Keeper takes that nice and easily. Unfortunately, our target forward couldn't get his head in there. Mesler now bowls the ball out very confidently to their left wing back. Teller does get his foot on the ball. We actually do get our foot on the ball. Schmitz this time. He's got two players on him. What can we do with this? Very, very poor, but a poor header out. Akita into the box. And we are piling the pressure on Bayern Munich here. Um, this game is going... Oh. Oh. I was going to say this game is going kind of against the grain. I did think Bayern Munich would be the better team. But we've hit the post twice now, so that's not ideal, is it? So with Bayern Munich coming well back into that game uh, as the half-time whistle strikes, it is still nil-nil. Uh, so the assistant is recommended, and no of the underdogs will go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. I don't think we're going to say that because I don't want to be telling the players that they're underdogs. One change at half-time. We have brought the young kid on uh, on the left wing. Uh, Dada he is going to play as the inside forward again. Can he burst into the penalty area and get a couple of goals again like he did in the last game? Uh, well, let's hope he does. I mean, to be fair, a point in this game wouldn't be a bad result. But obviously we do need to... Well, we need to keep a clean sheet for starters. But a ball played from the free kick there straight over the top. Uh, 8 shots, 3 on target, XG of 0 0.86. With an XG of that that low, I can't see his scoring a goal, but you never know. Schmitz there, picks the ball up at the back. Nice little header. On, on to Teller. Teller now. He's, uh, he had 5 players bursting round him there. Ball forward. And the Messler there, the goalkeeper. And that's not the brightest thing to do. Maheim to Dardai. Slides it through. And El Azuzi. I mean, what was that? Any other team in the Bundesliga, that would have burst the net. Bayern Munich, he pulls it. I don't know how many yards wide. That was pathetic. 69 minutes, two more changes. Fry has come on on that right wing, but he is going to play as another inside forward. And uh, he's going to be cutting in as well. And uh, Rice has come on in midfield. And we have gone to an attacking mentality. Not the worst result in the world, this, but we have got an XG of 1.72 now. We have gone attacking, 12 shots, 5 on target. We are beating Bayern in most respects on the pitch, so can we nick this goal? We do need to be beating the likes of Bayern Munich now. We can't have a situation. Dada is through. That's a penalty, referee. That's a penalty. Is he looking for a penalty? He is looking at a penalty. I don't know how many times I can get penalty in, in one sentence, but uh, I think I succeeded there. Come on, referee, you know what's uh, you know what's right. Dardai there. No penalty. Only against Bayern Munich. Any other team in the Bundesliga, that would have been a penalty. And Bayern Munich get away with one again. And this looks like it maybe is going to a 0-0 draw. 
unless there's some late drama here. Mefford plays the ball back to Jens. A ball over the top. Uldriki says it back to Dardai. Dardai's going to hit it. Oh! How are we missing all of these chances? We should literally have won this game 3-0. Oh my word. Maheim now. One last chance. Three minutes of time added on. Swings the ball in there. We can't get ahead on that. And that goes to no highlights. So we're going to see this game running out to a nil-nil. And quite frankly, I am very disappointed with that. We do need to start beating the likes of Bayern Munich. And it looks to me like the AI had other ideas there, which generally it usually does. The number of times we should have scored there, you know, I, I mean, point blank shots that nearly hit the corner flag. Absolutely off the scale. Ridiculous. OK, we are going to give the lads. We should have won that match based on the chances that we had. And uh, well, we are still top seven games played. Leverkusen had gone top, um, but we now level points with Leverkusen. And um, well, not ideal, if I'm honest. Uh, Leipzig, 16 points. So they're just a one point behind. Bayern are languishing a little bit and I don't think this season they are the team that uh, well we've seen previously and I think if there was ever a good chance to beat Bayern it was certainly today but the AI had other ideas. Okay, yeah, very frustrating there, you know, when the, the game is actually taken out of your hands and the AI is in control of the game, there's very little that you can do. You know, if it was if it had been a damp squib of a game and we'd have had no chances in the highlights or anything, okay, fine. But the number of chances, very, very, very good chances we had in that game. We should have won that game 3-0. We were all over him. We absolutely battered them. But the AI just would not let us win. And generally, that's the way it goes in Football Manager. OK, going to do the usual. Uh, going to go and play some games off camera now. Uh, we'll go, I'm going to be playing some more Europa League games. And uh, hopefully by the time I come back, we'll still be top of the Bundesliga. And top of the Europa League as well. We'll see you very shortly.